Pierce? I'm here. I need to know what you want to do next. Uh, 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 uh. So many things, Avid. So many things. Guys? I am bringing Pierce back into the room, because while soaring above the forest of Ingold, you spot a body in an elven cloak in a clearing below. Ha! Oh! Ah! We got you, dummy! We land! You land safely in the wooded clearing. He's face down, barely moving, a pool of blood underneath him. I can't tell you how long I dreamed of this moment in the game. Uh, Neil Sword? Clutched in the right hand of the body is the Sword of Duquesne. Sir, I believe this is yours. Thank you, Jeff. Once you get close enough to take the sword, you can see that this body, while definitely dying, is not Pierce. What? I turn it over. It's the gnome waiter from the tavern. What? No! Why? Goodbye, my friend. Thank you for being so respectful toward me. But who did this to you, yeah, gnome waiter? I never saw his face. But just so you know, my name was Kyle. Kyle? Britta? He was an imaginary waiter. I wouldn't expect you to understand. <clears throat> now. You hear a low rumble on the other side of the tree line, followed by a shrill screech and the beating of heavy wings against the sky. Wait, wings? What's going on? Tell me, Abed. Are you familiar with the Amberg region of the Edelman River Basin? Of course I am. Then you'll know there's a reflecting pool with a very special amulet at the bottom of it. An amulet that allows the wearer full control over Draconis. The hideous Draconis, an all-powerful red dragon, crashes through the trees into the clearing. Riding atop his shoulders, naked as the day he was born, and controlling Draconis with the amulet is... <laughs> Say it! Pierce Hawthorne. <laughs> Scream when I told you to scream! Pierce Hawthorne is my master! Prepare to meet your doom! I run towards Pierce with my broadsword drawn and I attack his time stop! Time stop? Draconis has tons of spells. The six of you are completely frozen and helpless. This is why I wanted to play shoots and ladders. Fine, Pierce. You win. Just kill us and end this. Oh no. Killing's too good for you. Cast shape change on Duquesne. What shape do you choose for him? Fat. Pierce, stop it! Pierce! Duquesne starts gaining weight. How much? Make him as fat as fat Neil. Pierce! All right, cry. Let it out. Baste your chubby cheeks in tears of gravy. You weren't crying when you were stealing my friends. He asked me to come here. You know why, right? I've got some fat news for you, fat Neil. Don't you know why Jeff Winger, of all people, led the charge on the Fat Neil Feel Good Committee? Way over the line, Pierce. I'll tell you why. Because I was there. Oh, they're down there by Fat Neil. That's right, Neil. Your new best friend, Jeff Winger, coined the name Fat Neil. Look, before you respond, I can make it up to you. I'll find a fatter Neil. 